Welcome to the installation of GEM5. This will be a tutorial. We're going to be working with Ubuntu 12.04 on a 64-bit operating system. This is a fresh installation. I've just previously ran sudo apt-get update and sudo apt-get upgrade. And now we're going to get started with the packages necessary for, uh, for GEM5. So these include Mercurial, Scans, Swig, GCC, M4, Python, Python Dev, Lib Google Perf Tools Dev, and G++. So with that entire package set, which is about 100 megabytes, we'll have all the things we need for Gem5 installation. So hopefully I have a fast connection. The purpose of Gem5 is to simulate a processor with various architectures like ARM or x86. Alright, so now that we've got all those packages, what we're going to do is we're going to be in the home directory and we'll just clone the gem5 uh, mercurial in installation. So we'll clone gem5.org slash gem5. So what you don't have to know that much about mercurial is just going out and getting some source files and then once we get those we're going to use scans to build the ARM5 architecture. So this this will be the extent of our use of Mercurial. All right, so now we've got all those different files, and again we're in the home directory, and I've just added the Gem5 directory, so we're going to change into that. And then once we've got uh, all the files that we need, we'll just use Scans to build our desired architecture. So the, the, the important thing here is the name of the architecture is ARM. There's a couple other options that are available, but we'll focus on the most popular one. And then GEM5 and .opt. .opt stands for uh, the number for the uh, optimization, rather than saying uh, performance monitor or debugging mode. Since I have two processors available, I'm going to use an optional switch, dash J2, and instead of using scans in serial, it'll be uh, taking advantage of my multiple processors, so potentially it'll be a little bit faster build. So there's a, a warning that I haven't set up any details for the mercurial. We're just going to get past that by hitting enter. And now the build process for scans has started with GEM5 and the ARM5 or ARM architecture. So we'll come back to this a little bit later because this process takes uh, a little while, maybe 15-30 minutes. So we've just finished the command scans build arm gem5.opt. This built the CPU emulator or CPU simulator for the ARM architecture. Now what we're going to do is we're going to test that it works, and so I'm going to paste in here the build arm gem 5op that's what we just built, and we're going to use the SE, syscall emulation mode, and we're going to use a pre-compiled binary called hello, so that lives in test, test programs hello bin, that's binary, arm for the architecture, Linux, hello. So this is a pre-compiled binary, static binary uh, produced when we've in our directory already. So we run it and here we see this is the command line option that we supplied. This is the inverse of the frequency, number of ticks per second. And then the hello world, that's the only output from the code. So let's look at what produced that. I'll look at test, test programs, hello source, and then hello.c. So here's the code that produced that. And the way it was compiled was with a, an ARM compiler for the a static binary. Now, I've taken the liberty here of, in another window, compiling the x86 architecture with a profiling. So that's scans build x86 gem5.prof. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compile, for instance, a static binary of hello.c for the x86 architecture. That's a little bit simpler because I don't have to cross-compile. So we'll do uh, gfortran static and then test, test programs, hello source, and then hello c. So again, I'm just taking that 
oops, not G4 Tran, GCC. Taking that C program, I'm going to uh, compile it as a static binary and we'll put it in its directory test, test programs, hello, binary x86. That, so the output binary is going to be called hello and it's going to live in the x86 directory. So now I've just compiled that. Since I'm running on an x86 system, I can actually see that that works. I'm just going to run it. So that's what it looks like in the host system. Now we'll run that in the using the x86 architecture here. So this is now build x86 gem5.prof and then it's going to use the same syscall emulation mode and then our binary lives in uh, x86 Linux hello. So we'll run that. All right, so remember this is what it looked like on the host system and now when we run it we're seeing that the command line option was given uh, and then the output is right here. So this is syscall emulation mode for both ARM5 architecture which I showed up here and then x86 on the host and x86 in a simulated uh, system.